Hey everyone, Siavash here, and just want to show you a new update to the high-level platform, which is basically hiding your third-party uh, event details on your calendar. So this is super helpful for privacy reason, obviously. So for example, let's say you, you have your calendars, like uh, your Google Calendar sync with the uh, with your high-level account, and then you have other team, team members using the same calendar on the high-level, and you don't want them to see uh, the description of your event or your event details and those kind of things. So it is extremely helpful at the moment. It is in the lab, but it's available and on for everyone. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can access that and basically see how you can turn it on and off. All right. So without further ado, let's dive in. So what you want to do is, as you can see, you're, I'm in my high level and on dashboard. Now down at the bottom, you see the settings, you click on that. And you see a bunch of options, business profile, my profile, and other things. You want to go to my profile. If you don't see the my profile, you want to make sure that you are logged in as the one of the uh, users of this sub account. Otherwise, you won't be able to see the profile. You might need to uh, switch lo logins to the user of that uh sub account so that's something that my, some of you might encounter but that's how you fix it and you want to make sure that basically there is users in here and you'll log in as one of them so you can see the my profile all right so once you have the my profile just click on that and if i move myself here and if you start scrolling down a little bit obviously you've got to have uh your calendars linked in here Otherwise, there's no point having that uh, thing enabled or, or disabled because uh, there should be linked calendars like this. And then as you scroll down, this is where it is. So private mode for sync events. So this is when turned on, only you can see third party calendar details and others won't be able to see that. So it's a simple toggle and you can hit on save and that's pretty much what you need to do. All right, so to show you how it's looked like actually, so I've switched to, uh, I'm on the same account, but I've switched to another user. So I have three users, test users on this account. And if you look at the right hand side, this username is Sarah. And I have ticked on for Sarah to be able to see my calendar as well. But because on the previous page, if you remember that hide information was on, Sarah can't see what are these events are. It just shows shows that I'm busy at those time and that's all uh, she can see. So this is how it's going to look like. If you want to know a little bit more information about it, you can definitely find it on the high level uh, change log. But yeah, definitely go ahead and play with it and use it. Uh, I highly recommend It's 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 an amazing thing because I had clients that they were like, trying to do this and I was like how can I avoid showing this and there was like kind of hacky ways to get this right but now that we have this thing set up it's it's pretty good makes it super easy and yeah there you have it I hope you enjoyed this one make sure that you share like subscribe and if you haven't signed up for high level there's a link in the description make sure that you check that out and yeah get your 30 day or 40 day free uh free trial and I'll see you in the next one bye